what's going on gang welcome back to another halloween video tutorial vlog whatever you want to call these damn things but it's seven days of halloween and uh, we are doing another doja cat look so i have recently uploaded this look here to our channel make sure you go check it out if you have not already and this one i want to do uh, the little garden uh, pick that she she um did and she just has like these simple like pink wig so i did have to purchase one so we're gonna be doing a wig review because i purchased off of amazon it was like a $20 wig honey and I'm hoping that she'll be able to pull off this look and then um, I bought the hair clips to go with it and I also bought the pink gloves that she's wearing and she's like wearing some shears like like this or whatever I don't use a foundation because less is more I just go in with some concealers I highlight and I contour like foundation is overrated for me so I just don't use it so for my primer I am going in with a Milani Dewy primer something cheap and inexpensive because of a bitch's roll okay you know I don't like spending a lot of money so I'm going in first with my highlight and this is the pretty fresh by Colourpop a very inexpensive brand to shop and um, I get it from Ulta and I have the color medium dark 145 warm so I like to highlight all the important parts. The eye is always the most important for me because um, I got three kids. Blending this all in, the brush does most of the work. I just, you know, just sit here and yeah. Now I am very much not a makeup guru. I don't know nothing about makeup. All I know is what looks good on me. I <laughs> kind of hate going into Ulta. It's just like an overwhelming sensation of makeup. Like, I really cannot choose. Like, I'll go in there like, yeah, I just need a satin powder. I will be in there literally for an hour going through every single choice. Because I go on the frugal side first to, like, see what's, you know, popping. And then I'll go on the expensive side, of course, to, you know, see if there's something that's over there that can be copycatted on the frugal side. Um... And then when you talk to the ladies, they always want you on the brand name side. Like, honey, now you saw when I walked in here, I went straight to Morphe and ColourPop. That should have let you know right then and there where my budget is at. We're not about to spend no money on ours, okay? I don't even wear makeup to work anymore for that exact reason because it was just like, y'all don't pay me enough to look as good as I do. Yeah. I'm gonna go in with my brow stamp this time. This is a Mad Love product. TikTok made me buy it, like literally. This is one of those TikToks made me buy it situations. I ordered it and it was off of this woman that had like 20 million followers. So of course by the time I saw it, it was already like 15 million already saw it. So when I went to go purchase it, of course it was sold out. So it took me like three months to get this crap and it's all right. It's, it's, it's all right. But you know what? It's all right. I paid for it and I waited to get it and it came. So so for my setting powder, my fave right here. She has been a lifesaver. She's been making me, you know, baked and set and I ain't got to worry about it. This is the Beauty Bakery in the color yellow. The setting flower. I have this Morphe palette that has been my ride or die since I bought it. I just lightly go in on the cheek areas. I go heavier on the forehead because again, we got a five head up there. She's really heavy with it, so I'm gonna make sure I apply it very heavily to match the vibe. Okay, cool. Might have overdid it on the blush, honey. I right. go in with my Nude Mood by ColourPop. It is a pretty brown palette. I'm going in first with All Natural, which is a nice brown that's about my shade, just a little bit darker. Then we're gonna go in with Moody, which is this dark brown right here in the corner. She is very much moody, and we're gonna lightly tap her. Wrong brush. Lightly tap her on the outside crease corner here, right there. We're gonna go in with Bare to Wear, which is this nice pale shimmer. It has like a slight shimmer. Right, it just might be because my palette's dirty. Either way, we're gonna go right on the eyelids with that. All right, so for my eyeliner, I'm going in with the LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. This is like some cheap Dollar Tree eyeliner. I don't usually wear eyeliner. Um, because one, I'm, I suck at doing cat eyes and I gave up trying to learn. Um, and this is what I used to use to practice with so I wouldn't be wasting the $30 eyeliner. Still haven't learned it, so I'm glad I only stuck with the dollar, 
the, the Dollar Tree one. So um, hers is very bold. It goes very much upward. And then comes, oh shit, did I do it? Oh my God, I did it, hold on, I'm afraid to blink. Where, where is the fan at so I can try it? All right, now since this one went really well, watch this one be effed up. Anyways, we're gonna slather her on there real quick. I'm gonna go in with the pink shimmer. This is by ColourPop and this is in the color Drop of a Hat. I think I'm gonna go this one. So. All right, babes, lashes are on, lippy is on. So now time for the wig. Let me go grab her. So it is by Q D Tizer. Like the names they be coming up with. Hair is really soft, very much synthetic. All right, so I tried flipping this wig, but this is one stiff ass synthetic wig and I ain't feeling like fighting with it. I also bought me some pink <laughs> garden gloves. Ooh, kind of tight. Ooh, jeez. I got them in a small, which usually small works for me, but these must be like kitty small. They're tight. And then I put on this like green top. She had like a little forest thing going on, but I just found this, so I'm gonna just wear my green top. But I did wanna come on here and pose real quick for my photo shoot, because you got to. Yeah. When I went back and looked at the picture, it looked like she had like a little bit of sheen going on on the lips. So I did add a little lip gloss. We have the bold liner, the shadow, the green clips, the pink hair. Very, very, very much cute. I'm wearing cats, okay? So let me know what you guys think of this Doja Cat look. Let me know of any other looks that I should probably try out because now I feel like I need a Doja Cat series because this was pretty fun. Yeah, this one's giving me, you know, cute like Martha Stewart. Like, let me go check my garden. And it's like hot mom, stay at home, soccer mom, retired kind of vibes. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Happy Halloween, guys. Thank you for joining us on another video, a vlog, tutorial, a how-to, a Doja Cat, a must, a Doja Cat look-alike. So we will see y'all on a, another video. Be blessed and be safe.